Hey everyone, my name is Alyssa from Discover the Horse, and I love to ride bareback. So in some of my episodes, you've probably seen me swing up on horses bareback, and today I wanted to show you how to do it. Alrighty, so first things first, you need to make sure that you have a horse that is going to be okay with this. You can test out and just kind of see whether your horse is going to be able to handle this and be patient enough for you to be able to try a few things. So a good thing to practice first is just getting up and on bareback and feeling comfortable. So you can absolutely use a mounting block and you can also have somebody in front holding your horse just to make sure that everything feels good. So from here, what you can do is grab rein and mane and then put your belly over this way and swing that right leg up and over. All right, so we bounce and up to the belly. From here, you wanna make sure you're nice and balanced so that if you need to, you can just slide back down at any point. So again here and up. There are three main components to getting the full movement. The first is your hands, the second is your feet, and the third is the swing up itself. For your hands, you're gonna grab a big handful of mane and also hold onto those reins. Your other hand is gonna grab a little bit farther back, right along here. For foot positioning, start right at their shoulder and set yourself up back just a little bit so you have room to get some momentum. Now for the fun part. We've got our hands, we've got our foot positioning, and now you're gonna use your arms as well as a bit of spring to help you swing up and around. Make sure to use those arms when you are doing the swing up because that's gonna help you get the lift you need to make it all the way up and over. Another helpful tip is to lead with your knee. If you're leading with your foot, you might end up doing something like this. To get better elevation and to make it easier to get up and over your horse's back, leading with your knee is really going to be helpful. Another tip is to try all of this on a smaller horse. Last but not least, make sure to take this slow, be safe, and do one step at a time to make sure you're comfortable. The great thing about this move is once you get the technique, you can use it on all sizes of horses. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck with your swing ups and let me know how they go in the comments below.